Hundreds of religious freedom advocates gathered in Utah County today. The annual conference is all about identifying threats to the First Amendment and teaching people how to protect it. Many Utahns are rightly concerned about religious freedom and support efforts to protect this fundamental liberty. But sometimes defending our rights involves not just passing better laws, but disobeying bad ones. William Penn is known to most Americans as the founder of the Pennsylvania Colony, or more recently as a face for a popular brand of breakfast cereal. His earlier life, however, illustrates why breaking the law can be a useful tool to defend liberty. At the young age of 26, William was arrested for preaching to a crowd of people on the street. As a Quaker, Penn was outspoken in his faith and highly critical of the Church of England. He deliberately broke the Conventicle Act, which outlawed gatherings of unapproved religions in order to provoke a legal challenge. The ensuing courtroom battle went in William's favor. The jury refused to convict him, seeing the injustice of this so-called law. The judges were furious, threatening to punish the jurors unless they convicted Penn, but they stood their ground and Penn was eventually set free. This tool is popularly known as jury nullification, the ability of a jury to refuse to convict a person if the law they broke is unconstitutional or illegitimate. It's used today by jurors in courtrooms across the country to protect a person's right to keep and bear arms or treat themselves medicinally with cannabis or even sell raw milk. Under a government that criminalizes anything it doesn't like, this power of juries to shield people from unjust laws must be preserved and protected. Here in Utah, jurors have this power, but they don't know it exists. Judges don't tell them about it, and defense attorneys aren't allowed to. Imagine a police officer attempting to enforce a law without knowing he can arrest the perpetrator, or a prosecutor trying to successfully convict a criminal without understanding the court process. This is clearly ridiculous. We want those tasked with enforcing the law to have the necessary tools and information at their disposal so they can do their job. To ensure justice and protect individual rights, jurors must likewise be informed of their power and their importance in the criminal justice system. For Libertas Institute, I'm Michelle Aiden.